Yo, what's poppin' guys, and today I'm gonna start a short little tutorial series on how to make a clicker game. Now, if you're familiar with this channel, you might be saying, D -d -d Deku, you made a how to, like cookie clicker game tutorial a few years ago, and you're correct, I did do that. However, I don't like how it turned out. Now that looking back at it, I realize it's very, very bad, and I think I can make it a lot better, so that's what I'm doing here today. So it's gonna be a quick little tutorial series, maybe four episodes at the most maybe we'll find out though so we're going to start off with the very basics so let's just hop right into it if anyone's new here to the channel thank you for watching hope that i explain stuff enough well so you can follow along start by deleting the stupid ugly cat that no one loves and now what we'll do is we will just start off by making a nice little backdrop i'm not gonna do anything insane anything crazy we're just gonna have some fun we're just gonna make a nice little like a, like a blue backdrop i think it looks nice there we go looks nice here then what you can do if you want to you want to be a little bit fancy you can grab like a little bit of a darker blue just a tad darker set that pen up to like a seven or a hundred yeah sure that works kind of just we do something like that like that just kind of fill that in there look at that nice little backdrop very basic obviously i'd put a lot more time into yours but i'm just here for tutorial reasons so now we're going to make a new sprite right and we're going to make our object to click on since most people since it's most commonly known to be a cookie i will follow suit in that and make a very basic little cookie so don't forget to center your things all the time set this down to maybe a 50. okay 50 is too big 20. that looks a bit better okay boom there's the cookie so let's say i want to set it right there so set its y to zero so it's even so what we can do now is we can do when i receive green flag clicked i'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better so when the green flag is clicked we're going to have it go to this location or if you want it to be on the screen and we are going to have it show now what we're going to do is run something we're going to run a forever loop and what we're going to do also set its size to 100 at the start and then in this forever loop what we are going to do is we're going to make something that looks kind of nice. We're going to grab an if else statement, and then we're going to grab if an if touching mouse pointer. If touching mouse pointer, we are going to change size by four. Then come to control and grab an if statement, slap it in there. Go to operators, grab a less than or sorry, a, a greater than symbol. Okay. And then come to your looks tab, scroll down and find this little size bubble. Put that in the first half. And make the second half any number. I'm going to do 110. You can obviously mess around with this though. And then you're going to set the size to whatever number you put in the second box. In my case, it's 110. You're going to duplicate what we just made here. This little section. And you're going to slap that in the else. And change this 4 to a negative 4. Change this greater than to a less than. Set this 110 back to the original size. In my case, it's 100. And then set this set size to 100. Just like that. I have this super basic thing where when we're here, if we hover over, cookie, he just gets bigger and then gets smaller again. Very basic, but it's a nice little, nice little touch. And it's always nice to have. Now, let's set up a quick little variable. I'm going to re, I'm just going to make a variable and we're going to call it cookies. Okay. We're going to show it. We're going to have it up in the corner. We're going to make this look fancy in a later episode, but right now we're just going to have it do that. And then we also might as well start by setting cookies to zero when the green flag is clicked. I'm also going to rename this sprite cookie real quick, real quick, because I didn't do that. Okay, cool. Now, what's going to happen? Let's come to events and grab a when this sprite is clicked. And we are going to do when this sprite is clicked, we will change cookies by one. Okay, let's take a look at what happens now when we start our game. Start our game, we have this nice little hover effect when we click the cookie, cookies goes up by one. We can keep doing that. We can't hold down the button, but we can click it a bunch. Very nice. And then you hit the green flag. It sets your cookies back to zero. Very, very basic. We will set up a sort of saving system in the future, so don't worry about that at all. Now, to continue, what we are going to do is, let's say we want to add something along the lines of an upgrade. Maybe something to make uh, your cookies per click higher. Clicks per yeah cookies per click higher right so when you click the cookie maybe you'll make two instead of one how do you set up an upgrade like that well let's make a little sprite and we are going to call this um i'll just call it click 
upgrade button. I'm just gonna do something very basic. Obviously put, put time into your art, but since I'm just doing tutorial stuff, I'm gonna go kind of quick and not make it look amazing. Uh-huh. So let's say what what should we call it? What should we call it? Let's just call it more. Yeah, this is the more button. I don't know. And I'll put it up here. Okay. Maybe you want to have a little shop menu that pops out like that. Maybe you just want this. Uh, if you want me to show you like a fancy little menu, I'll show you that. But right now, we're just going to have this just for the basics of it. So start this off by when I receive green flag, go to wherever you'd like it to go and show. Okay. Now what we can do is what we'll need to do is we'll need to set up uh, something called your CPC or cookies per click or, you know, stuff like that. And you're just going to hit OK on that. And then you're going to keep this one hidden. Just hide CPC. That's not necessary. When the green flag is clicked, however, you do want to set your CPC to one. Okay, so you have one cookie per click. Come into your cookie, and when you have this change cookies by one, just drag your CPC bubble in there just like that. So since we have it set to one when the green flag is clicked, we're still only going up by one. Okay, fantastic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set this more button to have a cost. Okay, so let's say, let's call this the... Um, Let's call this the CPC up cost, standing for CPC upgrade cost. We're going to show it for now. However, we're going to double click it so that it turns into this. And the cost will put right underneath it, just like that. So this will be how much it costs to get. And right off the bat, um, sorry, go to the click upgrades. We are going to set CPC up cost to whatever you want. How much you want it to be? Let's say you want 50. Let's say 50 is what it will start as. And you will see that boom, it says 50. That's how much it costs. Now, how we're gonna go about setting this up. Come to your events and grab when this sprite is clicked. Now, what we'll do is we'll ch when this sprite is clicked, we will instantly check. We're gonna run an we're going to run it if. Well no, we won't even just do a normal if. We're going to check if your money is greater than. So if cookies is greater than the cost. You can't just do 50 though. Let me explain why. So this checks if it's greater than 50, meaning if you have exactly 50, which is enough to buy it, you won't be able to buy it because it's checking if it's greater than 50, meaning 51 or more. So if you set this number to one less than how much it costs, for example, mine would be 49, then it will check if your cookies are 50 or higher, which is what we want. So if your cookies are greater than 49, what we will do is we will start by changing cookies by negative 50, taking away the 50 that it, that it takes to you know, buy this item. Then what we will do is let's say every single time that we buy this, we want the cost to increase. So now maybe it will change the CPC up cost by 50. Okay. Now every single time you buy it, it'll go up by 50. But let's say you want something more complicated than that. You can do something along the lines of taking this multiplication putting CPC up cost in the first box and then putting two in the second box, meaning that then it would be 100. Okay, so like, let's say this. You change it by that. Change it by 100, now it's 300. Okay, well, it was already 150, so here, let me do this. So it's at 50, okay? We change it, now it's 150. Now it's 450. Now it's 1,350. Now it's 4,000, you, you get it. You can change this to a one, oop, not a 105. A 1.5 for example and then what that'll do it'll change to 125 312.5 maybe if you don't want that then what you can do is you can grab operators and you can grab this round bubble you can put that inside just like that and then it'll round them for you so you don't have to worry about that 125 313 783 1958 4000 you get it right however i'm just going to keep it by changing it by 50 just for the sake of simplicity so that whenever we buy it it just goes up by 50. Again, if you want to do one of those equations, you can definitely go ahead and do that. That's entirely up to you. So when we buy it, you lose the money, the CPC cost goes up, but now we also need to change your CPC by one so that your clicks per second go up, right? So let's take a look. So CPC is one, you can tell because we're getting one cookie every single time we click. So let's get up to 50. 
Okay, see we have 49 when we click this, nothing happens. When we have 50 and we click, so oh, here, I can even demonstrate this before we do it. So if we had this as 50, okay? You see we have 50 cookies, enough to buy it. Nothing happens still, which is why we need this as 49 so that if you have 50, you can buy it. So we have 50, we click it, our cookies go down to zero, the cost goes up to 100, and now we make two cookies per click. And then if we go to 50, just to show that the cost has actually changed, Wait a minute. Oh, I know why. That's, I'm an idiot. Right here, that's because we constantly have it as 50. So you're gonna wanna do is grab your operators, grab a minus, I'm an idiot. Grab your CPC up cost and then do minus one. So obviously if our CPC up cost starts at 50, 50 minus one is this 49, which is what we need right here. So there, doing that will fix it, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's get up to 50 real quick. All right. We buy it, it goes up to 100, and we're getting two per click. So if you go up to 50 now, exactly, we need 99 now. So if we get up to 100, we can buy it, and it goes down by 50. Okay, here's another issue. It goes down by 50. We don't want to change cookies by negative 50. So come down to your operators, grab join. In this Apple slot, put the minus symbol. And in the second slot, you want to put your CPC up cost. Okay. Now, let's try this one more time and see if it works. Let's get up to 50. See, it's nice to have these little mistakes so we can always test stuff. And I can show you some problems in case any problems arise. You'll know what stuff to look for maybe in future projects, even that isn't this exactly. We'll buy it. We're making two now. It costs 100. We check at 50. We can't buy it. We get up to 100. We buy it. It goes up to 150. Our cookies go down to zero. Now we're making three per click. Let's go above 150. Let's go like to 200. Let's say, let's see if we can even get to exactly 200. I don't think we can. We can get 201. So we should have around, I'm not good at math, 51 left when I click this button. 51, yeah, I was right. And now we're making four per click. So you get it. That's how you do something super basic like that. Very easy, very fun. A very basic upgrade in future episodes i'll show you how to do some other upgrades like clicks per second so you don't even have to click and your cookies will still go up that's pretty simple to set up so we will definitely be focusing on that in the future as well but i'm going to leave the episode here for now thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it then like it and if you didn't like it like it anyways because it's going to be a fun little journey and i hope you will find it enjoyable while you're at it why not subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content that would help me out a lot we're almost 4,000 subscribers at the time of recording it'd be really awesome if we could hit that milestone soon that'd be super cool 5,000 subscribers are doing a face reveal so i'm not sure how how stoked i am about that one exactly but still hope you guys are excited so yes while you're down there why not check out my socials which are in the description maybe you'll find something else i do online that you find enjoyable join the link in the description thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace